All right, we have with us Mr. Carlos Cohn, the global CEO of Renault, and he's here on a big launch, which is a global launch really uh, done in India for Renault Quid. So thank you very much for talking to Bloomberg TV. Uh, you know, I want to ask you first and foremost on the expectations that you have from this product. This is a compact segment, which is pre uh, predominantly uh, dominated by, um, by Maruti and Hyundai in the country. And uh, getting into this space is obviously very tough. But uh, what, what are your expectations when it comes to this product? Uh, how well do you expect it to do? What are the kind of numbers you're working with when it comes to it? Yeah, well, this segment where you said you have uh, Suzuki, Maruti, and Hyundai, you have mainly two products, yes. occupying 25% of the market in India. Hmm. So on the contrary, you, you think maybe consumers want to see something else. Maybe they have a more diverse offer. And we came with a product, which is a quid, that we think is very strong product. And we're talking here about, uh, you know, items that matter for Indian consumer. Fuel efficiency, space inside the car, trunk space, navigation system, uh, uh, safety. These are all elements that matter for the consumer. And obviously price. We're talking about 3 lakhs. 3 lakhs is 4,200 euro. So it's very competitive product. We think there is a space for us. And uh, we feel very good about this product. But obviously sales are going to start in September. Mm we'll see what's going to be the real the result. But this is a product on which we are counting to continue the offensive of Renault in India toward the 5% market share. Today, Renault has 1.5% market share. We recently uh, launched a car which is important, which is the Logi, which is a family car. And now with Quid, we're going to have three important cars, Duster, Logi, and Quid, in order to try to reach the 5% sure, market so share. Sure, so that's, that's going to be a growth driver, a growth driver, so to say, for the long-term growth in the Indian market. But, you know, I want to talk about the, the kind of partnerships that you've had in India and the lessons that you've learned, really. You've spoken about it earlier, but I want to understand, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to you being solo now and doing it all by yourself, the frugal engineering that, that's gone into this product, uh, take us through how you manage to keep the costs uh, as what they are and keep the quality uh, to the levels which are which is better than the competitors. You know, it, it has been a long journey uh, first because I said from the beginning, India is a very sophisticated market. It's a, a complicated market where you need to learn. Yes. And you learn by doing. It's not learning by reading books or reading essays. Uh, you need to do by doing. And we've been through many experiences. Um, uh, at the end of the day, we decided to create our own technical center sure. where we have a team made of in, uh, Indian engineers with French engineers and Japanese engineers. So we are fusing the creativity and particular of frugal engineering of India with all the experience accumulated from Renault from one side and Nissan from the other side. And the result of all of this is a quid. Sure. Uh, when, it talks about, uh, when it talks about your other partnership which is currently existing with Ashok Leyland and, and uh, that really has not gone anywhere in terms of great volumes that perhaps were envisaged from that. Uh, how do you, uh, you know, look at that partnership in the near future? What do you really look at deriving from it? Uh, going ahead. Yeah, you, you know, in, in all the partnership that we had and we're having in India, we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. For example, and there have been successes and there have been uh, failures. Uh, for example, with Ashok Leyland, we developed the DOS and the DOS has been a big success in India. Uh, beside it, we are trying to replicate other successes, uh, but and we are learning our way on the, on the Indian market. What's very important in India is to have the appropriate coverage of the market. Mm. Before the launch of the quid, we're covering with our product offer about 50% of the Indian market. It's mm. not sufficient. Mm. Quid itself represents 25% of the Indian market. So we are now covering 75 to 80% of the Indian market. So we're going to be much more relevant. Sure, but your market share is still very low. You spoke about it, less than 2% right now. You have aims to take it to 5% over the next few years. But it's still a long way in India. Uh, and, and, and do you see yourself in the top three, any timelines, targets that you can set out to say, you know, by 2020 or, you know, any, any, any such year where you see you are amongst the top three car makers? Our overall, uh, our overall strategy is that the Alliance should have been, uh, contribute in India the market share that the Alliance have globally. Mm -hmm. And globally, the Alliance has 10% of the market share of the worldwide market share. So there is no reason for the Alliance not to have 10% of the market share in India. 10% of market share in India means 5% for Renault, 5% for Nissan. Today, Renault and Nissan, each one of them has 1.5% of market share. So we are at 3, and we need to go to 10. Obviously, in order to go to 10, first, we need to have a better coverage of the market. That's what we're doing. We're going to have to introduce a lot of products, and particularly the products have to be localized. Yeah. When I say localization, it's not only having the suppliers local, but also that the platform has to be localized. 
Quid is the first car which is totally localized. The platform has been done in India, mm. and the car is 97% localized. It's a benchmark in sure. terms, yeah, it's a world, world class benchmark. We're going to replicate more of these kind of products in the future in mm -hmm. order to have a shot at the 10% market right. share. How about Datsun brand? You know, you had a lot of expectations uh, uh, from that brand doing very well and very well fit for the Indian market. Yeah. That's really not gone anywhere. We uh, know Datsun Go and Go Plus yeah. still finding uh, or struggling to get volumes there. How do you justify that? Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's like a soccer game. You can't <laughs> judge the score uh, after 15 minutes of the game. You have to go through, through, through the full game. Uh, that's one is going to benefit next year okay. of a product which will be based on the same platform than the Quid. So you're going to have to bear with us the introduction of products which is going to be much more adapted sure. to the Indian market. Okay. Uh, last couple of questions. One, of course, on the investments and uh, the kind of uh, uh, expansion that you've done. You, you had set out four, from 4 lakh or 400,000 units, you'll grow up to 600,000 units at the facility. Are you on track? Also, a $2.5 billion that has been invested, you wanted to double it over the next five years. Are we on track on those numbers? Yeah, I think we're, we are on track for two reasons. First, uh, we are very bullish on the Indian market for the next four to five years. Sure. We think the Indian market is going to be growing practically at the same level than the Chinese market, six or seven percent per year. Mm. Second, we're going to have a lot of new products, much more adapted to India. So not only the market is going to be growing, but we should be growing inside uh, inside. Any this number market. of products that you will be bringing in, like any. Uh, too early. I okay. mean, uh, I'm showing you the quiz. Sure. I'm announcing for you a new product based on the same platform for that's on next sure. year. Sure. And last question on, on, on the Modi government, you know, the, the, gov the new government that took charge last year completes uh, one year. Uh, I don't know if you've met Mr. Modi, but what's really your assessment and how do you see Indian market uh, with, with, with Mr. Modi as, you, at the head? You know, I, I don't, I don't, unfortunately, I, as I don't live in India, I don't follow uh, the Indian actuality. Uh, but as, has that as given much, you confidence to it? No, but what I can tell you is when I uh, uh, interface with my Indian uh, uh, businessman uh, colleagues that I know, or people doing business in India, they're all very optimistic. So when the government of Mr. Modi, because it has created so much hope and so much confidence in the business community, certainly, and probably in other community, is going to get a lot of results. Just the fact that is getting this hope and this excitement is already a big achievement. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gohan. Always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you.